everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll videos every single day, most of the time. And today, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of Princess Serenity and Super Sailor Chibi Moon from the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal, the movie, 30th anniversary Bondi style series doll collection. That was a lot. I'm so excited about these. These I pre-ordered last year at some point, so they're most likely not super readily available anymore. But right now, I believe I will put something on screen if I'm wrong. Um, you can pre-order the Inner Senshi, which um, look amazing. And they should be up to par with the quality of these dolls. And I love Bondi Style series, so I'm really excited that they're doing more characters. Um, it's really cool that they're expanding outside of like the main characters. That's why um, Chibi Yusa was so exciting to me. Anyway, so this is what Chibi Yusa's box looks like. And as you can see, it's actually smaller than Serenity's box, which is pretty cute. I like that. Um, and their boxes are really, really simple. These are priced up a little bit higher at $40, so they're definitely aimed at collectors, but they're still accessible if um, people want to buy them for their kids, which is pretty sweet. Um, but Japanese products, especially collector products, tend to have very basic boxes, which I appreciate as someone who unboxes my stuff. But you can see that the design on the box is really beautiful and really Sailor Moon. And then we've got a bunch of screenshots from the movie just beautiful love the animation and then for some reason sometimes they'll just have something like this like the leg you can put it back if it falls off like okay i don't know i feel like that's better as like instructions but fine and then a bunch of information there's the upc if you need it i don't know how that's gonna be helpful to you and then stuff on the bottom as you may be able to guess i don't know japanese so <laughs> i don't know what to do with all that anyway and then we have princess serenity who i'm so excited about and i believe there's another version of this doll like a different colorway that's exclusive to the sailor moon museum but like she's really expensive online so this one's fine for me thanks <laughs> um and you can see luna artemis and this one whose name i'm blinking on right now um and a really sweet screenshot with serenity in it i really like the box design very very simple but in a like in a good way she looks great. You can just see how gorgeous the doll is. Anyway, um, I'm really excited because the budget seems to have gone up since the last doll. Like, these are more detailed, and I'm excited about it. All right, let me get them out of the box. I say this every time I open a Japanese doll, but God, it's so refreshing compared to, like, the amount of plastic ties that American dolls have. I only had to cut, like, three ties. It's amazing. Alrighty, Princess Serenity and Chibi Yusa are both out of the packaging, and this is what they're looking like. These are so cool. I'm so excited because for a while now, I think since February of last year, so basically an entire year, I have had this doll, um, who is also a Bondi style doll. This was the first one they did, and she was always just displayed with my Precure dolls because she's also a Bondi style doll, and that's what all most of the Precure dolls are. Um, but <laughs> I'm so glad that she's not going to be alone anymore. She gets to have her own whole display because I didn't really like how she looked next to my other Sailor Moon dolls because she looks so much better than them. I don't know. Um, but I brought her over for comparison purposes, so we'll get there. Anyways, let's take a look at Serenity first because she's the one that I'm the most in love with because I'm completely shocked by her quality. Um, oh my god, especially for like a Bondi style playline ish doll. I'm very impressed. Anyway, so starting off with her face, which I will be bringing over my other one to compare. So you can see that she has basically less makeup. She has everything else is the same. Um, and this time they have painted a little moon on her forehead, which makes sense because I think doing something like this would not match the art style, even if it would be like better if you could remove it. Um, but also you can remove this, but it leaves a giant hole in her forehead. So maybe you don't want to, um, but it's really, really cute. They've done the bangs the same and the hair is, I think the same. Yeah, the hair looks about the same. It might be like ever so slightly longer or like thicker, but it looks like basically the same hair. They're so cute. And I mean, yeah, it's the, it's Yusagi's hair. Like that's how they do it. Anyway, um, check out these little things. So I love the way they do these. They're actually like earrings punched into the head, except they have I'll show you, actually. That's why her hair is messed up right here, because I was investigating. Um, it has, like, an arrow shape at the bottom to make it easier, or, or harder for the earrings to come out, or, oh my god, head rings, the little bobbles to come out, but mine are done unevenly, so if you think the doll's looking kind of off, it's because mine is uneven, like, yours probably won't be like this. Although I will say that this one also has them placed incorrectly, so... Maybe it's pretty common for that to happen. That would be a super easy fix. I don't know about her hair, though. But basically, just poke another hole. It's really simple. Um, and she's so cute. Let me move this again so you can see the face. She's really pretty. I really like that they did different makeup for her and stuff. Although, like, that is kind of the bare minimum. I really appreciate that they did it regardless, because they really could have gotten away with not doing it. And then you can see her earrings. Which actually have, I know it's hard to tell, but they have a pearlescent paint, which is really cool. 
And yeah, she also has this necklace, which is done in plastic that is plated with this metallic material. It's super cool. And then it has this little painted piece on top. I love this accessory, although they're not strangers to plating stuff because the crown and those things are plated on that one. So, you know, and then the dress is so impressive to me. So I have seen this dress in cosplay form a million times because this is such a beloved design. And I was like, I wonder how they're going to execute this, but I didn't want to look too closely at the doll before I got her because I like to be surprised when I get my dolls. And I was so shocked it was done. Not only was it embroidered, it was fully embroidered and it looks so good. So you can see the really cute puff sleeves with the little doodads hanging off here. Really, really nice. I love the way they did the neckline and the shoulders. Like, And look, all of the details actually continue onto the back too, which is so cool. And then she's got this big, this material is really nice. I'm not 100% sure what it is. It feels, it looks like organza, but it doesn't feel like organza, but it could just be really high quality organza. Love it. Look at this big old back bow. They did this doll right. Like, they did such a good job on this one. And I'm so glad that this is the Princess Serenity doll that I have in my collection because she looks so good. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so shocked by the embroidery because I have a lot of Japanese dolls at this point, not like an excessive amount, obviously, and I'm not part of the main market. So this isn't to speak on the entire market for Japanese dolls. But I don't know, I almost never see embroidery even on my giant, like, ones that retail for $600, so it's pretty cool to see. And then let's take a look at the skirt, which is adequately voluminous. Oh, if you're not familiar with Bondi style dolls, they are reasonably articulated. Like, I love that they have wire elbows and wire legs, although, I mean, are they wire? I forgot. Okay, no, they're click-jointed legs, sorry. Click-jointed legs. Not my favorite, I'd prefer wire legs, but it's fine. And yeah, it works for what it is, and I appreciate it. I like it a lot. And I love, too, that they're they're going outside of Precure, which, to my knowledge, is how they started Bondi Style. And there's also Aikatsu ones that are pretty hard to find. I can't find them um, for good prices. And then there's also the Sailor Moon ones. And I love that they all stylistically go together um, because they're all Bondi Style dolls, but they all have, like, really, really good, unique um, facial identity and stuff. I think it's so cool, and I'm so excited to see if they do more IPs with this because... This doll line is so consistently nice. Um, although the Precure style dolls don't have as much um, budget put into them as these do. These have a lot of budget because they're more expensive. Um, you can see that she has satin with this possibly organza layer up top. And it is actually fully hemmed, which I'm impressed by because you don't often see this material hemmed because it's really hard to hem and they did a great job. Um, I do think this is a surged edge though, yeah. I should probably say surged. It is different from hemming, but... It's, it's also easier to do, but they did it, and I appreciate it, because you don't even see a surged edge ordinarily. And then they did not surge or hem the edge on this, because, I mean, that would make it look bulkier. You can see what I'm talking about. I kind of forgive when they don't hem this stuff. Oh, this is stretchy. It's not organza. Man, what is this? It's so nice. Um, I appreciate that they did it, is my point. And then you can see a really nice tiny hem there, too. And then, um, I think this is just a um, side effect of them being Bondi style dolls. <laughs> It's just the most boring shoes you can imagine. She's also floating because the stand is not wanting to go lower. Um, these dolls do not come with stands. I think they should for $40, but it's fine. Oh, I forgot to point out the beading. In fact, I didn't even notice. Look, there's beading. A little string of beads sewn in there. I was moving the stand and I noticed the stand was interfering with the beading. Um, yeah, this is a stand that I bought myself. I will put a link in the description so that you guys can get it if you have these dolls and you're interested in having a stand for yours, but I'm not affiliated or anything. Um, and then now let's, oh, let me show full body of all of them. Just, yeah. I'm really excited about how good Chibiusa looks next to Usagi. Like all of the staples of the outfit are kept, including this really cute gradient thing that they did. Um, and the shoes are just like tinier. So cute. And I do think this is a new sculpt, the, the tinier body. So that's pretty cool. I hope they use it more. <laughs> There's a lot of characters they could use it on. Also, I'm confused. I, I I mean, I do know why, because Chibiusa in this form is obviously more iconic. Um, cat's name is Diana, huh? I think the cat's name is Diana. Anyway, um, so <laughs> I understand that this version of the character is more iconic, but to have her come in the same wave as Serenity, wouldn't it have been cool to see the little Chibiusa version of you sent? <laughs> Serenity, I can't speak. That would be very cute. Anyway, so here is Chibiusa to turn around. 
She is very, very cute. I've never had a doll of this character before. I feel like for some reason she gets neglected. Um, except by, there's been quite a few, like, collector Sailor Moon lines recently that, of course, do, like, a lot of the characters. But in the play line, I feel like I'm not familiar with a lot of Tribuses, but I don't really have a lot of Sailor Moon dolls either. So there is that. Um, anyway, here she is. She is very cute. Is there, like, a scratch in her eye? No, that was a little, like, hair or something. Okay, so... Her face, really, really cute. Again, I said this earlier, but I love that the Bondi style dolls always have like really, really accurate, cute faces and it's accurate to the art style of the movie that these dolls are specifically um, supposed to be for. And then she has her plated crown pushed into her head. I love it and I love the, she dropped something. Um, and I love the way they did the hair. Also, I forgot to say this earlier, but the hair, oh my God. So I'm pretty sure it's Saran hair. It's so soft and it's really well styled, but you can actually like, unstyle it a little bit because this is wax that they've used and not like a harsh gel like a lot of um, American dolls use so it's really really refreshing and this one has just a little bit of this wax like you can see how well it's styled but you can actually pull it all the way out and it'll pop right back I love the way they do it and then look little tiny moon earrings and then look at those like are you kidding me with the detail on that did they do that on the other one they did serenity do you have that yes I love that. I probably noticed that last year, but I forgot. Isn't that so cute? That's just so much extra detail. That adds so much for so little effort, but I don't know. I could not see most doll brands doing that. That's really cute. Anyway, so these bobbles are actually attached to rubber bands, which worries me because over time, rubber bands will dry rot, but looks good for now, these little thingies. And then this is actually like more of a harsh gel, but you can still mess with it. Like, it's fine. It's the kind of gel where if you brush through it, it would make that weird white powder, but for now it's looking good. And one of mine is pointier than the other, though, but that's okay. And then these little things are pushed into the head, but they've got that stopper at the bottom that makes it a little bit harder to take them out. But as you can see, they are done asymmetrically again. You'd think they would have, like, a marker under there that they could pop it in in that specific spot um, when they paint the head. I don't know. Um, I guess that would make rooting the hair harder. Anyway, her choker is very similar to Usagi's. It's just a little ribbon with Velcro on the back and a little heart. It's very cute. It's just like glued on though. It could come off over time, but don't worry. It should be fine because nothing's really touching it. Um, and then her outfit. So again, this is just kind of a mini version of Usagi's outfit, but it's very, very cute. Yeah, it's got all the details. So it's got the sleeves done. The sleeves are the only part that are my favorite, but they are accurate to the design. I just, I worry about these fraying over time. Um, and then this is like the one printed on detail, but I don't really care because I mean, that would have been the tiniest ribbons in the world. And it would have been pretty difficult to apply, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, love the little bow on the front. It's just a gross grain ribbon. This is a burned edge, which is, eh, I think that's fine. Um, and I love this little heart that she's got on her outfit. And this little ribbon bell is, um, I feel like they've used some kind of interfacing to make it a little bit stronger. It's not just a hunk of satin. The whole outfit is satin, by the way. It's like a shiny satin. It is a nice material. Like, it's not your typical um like cheap fabric store satin which i love and then the gloves are done in a stretchier material it's slightly transparent i don't know if you can tell um and then she's got this little pink bow as the, or <laughs> pink ribbon as the trim it looks great and i love the way they did the sailor collar and everything and then the bow is really really nice it's made out of that same is it chiffon no, this isn't stretchy, so it's not the same material, actually. I have no idea what this material is. I'm sorry. Same exact fabric as the other one. It looks really good. And I love, like, how plush this part of the bow looks. I think the construction on these bows is fantastic. It's so cute. And you can see the way they did this gradient here. I love this. Look how delicate the color is and how it transitions. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It looks so good. It looks so good. I love it, love it, love it. Love it. Um, and this is great. It's got the box pleats and it's got this little petticoat thing underneath. It's just kind of sewn on. And then you can see that it's kind of a leotard, the outfit. Or no, never mind. She has underwear. I'm done. Um, well, it's fine. <laughs> she has a uh, separate underwear on, which is very cute. Does Serenity have little underwear on? She does, if you were wondering. And then her boots. So... Her boots are pink, but they are in essence the same. They are smaller. I don't know if it's a re-sculpt, like they sat down and actually re-sculpted it, or if it's... Oh, there's this little plastic tie back here. No. <laughs> um, if they re-sculpted it, or if they just like scaled it down, because usually they have like computer scans of accessories now. I assume that's what they did. Very, very cute. 
<laughs> love it. And then she has the same articulation as the other ones, just by the way, if that wasn't clear. Look, yay. And um, contrary to my $100 Lika Chan dolls who can't pull their arms out, <laughs> these actually can, which is great. <laughs> which is great. Um, and then she's got the... Mm, I had it earlier. Kaleida... It's like the Kaleida Power, Kaleida Moon Scope, I think. Um, I'm horrible with wand names in every Magical Girl show ever. I never get it with all the weapons and the wands and things. Um, but this is... I know it's Kaleidoscope, but it has something in the middle, and it's probably Moon. Um, it's very, very cute. Yeah. It doesn't have any color on it, though, which I'm pretty sure Chibi, when Chibiusa has it, it does, but that's fine. Because um, I think the color would be on these parts that they plated, and I would prefer the plating. So, that's fine. Anyway, that's it for these two dolls. These are overall pretty simple, but I absolutely adore them. I love Bondi style dolls so much. And I love that when they're adult collector dolls, they're not actually that much more expensive than the other version, but the quality is like leagues better. If you've ever had a Precure style doll, looking at these should probably like blow you away. And Precure style dolls are intended for a child audience and like are cheaper. So it's totally understandable that they have less detail. Although sometimes there's things that I'm like, are you serious? But these are super, super nice. I really like them. I love all of the 3D elements to the outfits. I feel like Sailor Moon's outfits look deceptive. De can't talk deceptively simple to make in doll form but they're actually quite difficult because of like the construction here like they didn't do the rolled thing that they actually have which is fine I don't care um and like the sailor collar would be difficult and you got to do these three-tiered thingy like there's all kinds of things that you know you'd think like oh that's just a simple dress but it's really not it has a lot of complicated stuff and like you also have to assess how you're gonna do this and all these little things on the head I don't know um these dolls are awesome I am in love with them. I think they're amazing. I do think my favorite face, or like facially, is still this one, but it's not really fair because this, in this form, she doesn't really wear a lot of makeup, and I just really like the way the makeup looks on this one. Um, just the different lip color makes her look so different. Also, by the way, the reason this one looks taller is because I can't get her to go down on her stand. It's weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I'd love to know who your favorite is and if you could have like one Sailor Moon character made into a doll, which would it be? Because it kind of seems like this collab is going to go, does it count as a collab at this point? It's Bondi. This doll line is going to continue. Um, I was really excited to see Jupiter and that's who we're getting. So, because I didn't think we'd go this far. I thought it was just going to be the one time thing. So I'm so excited that it's continuing. Um, these are adorable. I really hope again that they continue to make more uh, Bondi style dolls because I think they're great, especially going back in time with Precure. In fact, today, by the way, um, I'm going to let you guys know this now because if you're interested, you might have to pre-order them. Um, they are doing Cure Black and Cure White um, style dolls, finally they're going back in time to do, like, an all-stars line of Precure pre style, which is so exciting. I hope that they do more. I don't know if they're gonna do more, but if they don't, I'm gonna be so mad. They need to. Um, even if they don't do every character, there's certain seasons that, like, just desperately need dolls and are super popular. I mean, every single season needs dolls, to be clear, but, you know, there's certain ones that are way more popular than others, so do it. Do it. Um, but yeah. I would love to see Black Lady, I think would be very cool. Um, or, like, there's so many cool characters, but a lot of the ones that I would, like, die to see are, like, even too obscure that I think Pull-Up wouldn't touch them. Not that they're obscure, they're in Sailor Moon. I just mean, like, their appearance is not iconic enough in the show. You know, they don't show up for very long. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'd love to know what you guys think of these. I'm loving them. I'm really glad that I have, like, an accessible Sailor Moon. I mean, are these accessible? I don't know. To me, they are, because I just pre-order them, and then they come. But, you know, Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And again, if you're interested in this inner senshi, I will have information about that in the description, whether they're available or not, because um, these dolls really go up in value, resale value, after the pre-order period ends, so you're going to want to snatch them up quick. Um, this time, I only got one of each of the uh, inner senshi, just because they were like $40 each, so it was a big expenditure up front, but um, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to have them. Anyway, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!